How are we looking today then? Hey? You still got that ear down a bit, haven't you? You doing your water buffalo impersonation? Hey? Welcome to Thursday, 27th of January. Okay, so today, if it all goes to plan, I'm going to put the hedge trim on the case. But first, first I've got to go and load Mark. Do the old stuff. Yeah, the old stuff, yeah. Yeah, alright, no worries. Quid, isn't it? So, all right, um, one or two of you have asked me about bull. What we're doing about the bull this year? Well, the bull is ordered. Um, he's actually only about 10 miles that way at the minute. So, um, we've got a young bull coming. He is a medium to large dark dun. So, um, he comes from, I think. One of his parents was black and one was dun. So there's a reasonable chance that next year we might actually throw some dun cans. Now dun is a colour. There's three three colours on Dexter's. Black is the most common, like this lady. Second is the red. And finally, it's the dun. Dun is brown, basically. It's a brown cow. Um, I've never really done well with the duns, but um, this fellow that's coming to us now, I think he's two years old. He has thrown a couple of calves. Um, he obviously started early because he's two years old. Um, but we've basically saved him from the chop. He was going to go to slaughter because his owner didn't have, didn't have any work for him. So I rang around locally for um, a bull. He's basically, he was going to the abattoir. I've given him a stay of execution. And I'm kind of hoping that um, if he works out all right for me, I might even be able to extend that stay of execution because I know of another herd that could probably do with a, a done bull, or a, not done, but a bull. So, so yeah, the bull has come in. We've delayed it a week, mainly because of 222. Um, Sod's Law would say that she would come on bulling straight away and he would be mounting her and while she's a bit uh, stayed on her feet i would kind of i didn't want that so i've delayed it um a week i think she'd probably take him now um i don't think she's bullying but i think she could take him if she came on bullying now um because he's not a big boy so yeah so there you are so that's the news on the cattle and the bull there is a bull come in he is different he's not black and he's not red he's dark done You'll see. Right then, if I'm going to be putting you on, I need to clear some space to get in there. So I need to move donkey as well. I don't know what it is. They always seem to park it in the wrong place. So, anyway, this won't take many minutes. Um, I may not get this put on for an hour or two because we've got another trip to Cullimore's. Got to go and pick up some um, clean gravel because now all the paving is laid, we need to do the gravel edges on it just to sort of finish it off. It's only cosmetic, but it's kind of, it's just another job needs ticking off. Um, Dave reckons that one and a half tons isn't gonna be enough. He wants just over two tons. And I said, well, I might as well, rather than him make two trips in his truck, truck I might as well just go there as well. Not only that, it's, I haven't got to pay for my labor and time. It's just, I just as well go as well. So I can do that. 
we'll get this on today. We've had a dry, dry period, so I'm kind of hoping that I can get all the hedges I want done. I'm not doing all my hedges this year, but I can get everything I want done this year without marking the ground up too much. So, fingers crossed. That's the first job. Sort that out. So we do not want, with the hedge trimmer, we do not want these to float. We need these set rigid. So that's all that is, is change that around like that. And it locks them, right. I'll do that one as well. Oh, he's always what a stiff, that one. See, a farmer's life isn't just for cutting things. It has many, many uses. It's not a knife, it's a tool. That's that done. bits of bobs I need to do before I put the hedge trimmer on, mainly sort of greasing stuff, things like the PTO shaft, um, much easier to do that before I put on the tractor, but I'll also put the grease gun around the back end of the tractor as well, might as well. We're a bit tight for space here at minute. Lads have parked the uh, 695 in here with the uh, log splitter on it. We just poked the nose out that little bit too far. I thought I could have reversed it. Exactly spoiled for light in here, so I've had to cheat and put the play lights on the tractor. Right, am I there, Riff? Can I get to you? I can't actually remember if I can get to you on or off. This is one of the more difficult bits to actually grease up, and for that reason, some people forget. You know what? I think it's going to be easier to actually whip you off there if I can. Let me find it. There we are. Okay, that was just as well because the grease nipple is pointing the wrong way. Well, I haven't taken him right off, which hopefully means it won't be too difficult to put back on. There you are. Right. Now I can get to you, little tinker. There's actually a bit of grease already around there, so. Okay, a prop shaft, tick. I'll turn the lights off because it's only going to double you. Yeah? Right. I actually need you anyway, so you can come out of there. Go 
back up there. I've got another prop shaft for that. Um, okay. One, two, last one that side is you. Can you draw some last one that side? I need me balls. Where did they put me balls? There they are. Okay. So when I'm not using my balls, when I remember, I like to soak them in diesel. So there you go. I don't actually need the top link ball, but uh, the bottom link ones, yeah. And my cup's got a leak. Okay, all right. One. Two. Uh, pretty much, that's it. Let's get it on. Come back a few inches for that one, but that's okay because this arm here actually goes backwards, so it shouldn't be a problem. This had actually clipped in properly, but it hadn't. Uh, I've got to make sure that it does. It's got to line it up. Come on, line up. Come on. Be nice. Come on. You came off easy enough. I'm going to turn the camera off because I think this is going to require some language. Gotcha. Where's the button? 
and I'm gonna go click that time. That's it. All it needed was for me to tell it what I thought of it. You got the message. Right, I'm gonna say this end. Good. Right. Find it, there he is. Definitely back in there. He's locked on there. He's locked on there. Now I'm happy. Whew. Right, so up in my office, there's a cardboard bo box with a couple of safety chains in it. I could use the string because it's on there, but I'm almost out of battery. So I will go and see if I can find the chain to go on there. Someone took the time and expense to send it me. The least I can do is use it. Apparently, Dave the Builder's in desperate need of blow. So, um, yeah, that sort of blow. So I'll lend in mine. And I kind. Okay. So, this fella here has no, um, no, no grease nipple, whereas the top link for the tractor has a grease nipple, so I can grease it. This doesn't, so um, sometimes I use a bit of white grease in there. Today I'm using a little bit of chain spray, and all that is is just a bit of non fling, sticky, gooey, runny stuff. So, um, I've had a look in my office, can't find the chain. Um, I expect during the move, between um, me vacating my little old office and moving a new one, I've obviously put it somewhere safe. I've got them, I have seen them, but, and I will put them on. It's just that I want to get this on and out before the lads get back. So it was kind of, yeah, for now, a little bit of string. It's a temporary measure, right? Only temporary, he says. Like, lots of temporary things that have gone around the farm that are st still there. But I intend it to be temporary measure, all right? Intention's good. Right, now then, this devil. <sighs> this thing's hard work. And today, it's gonna go easy. I can feel it in my water. in there and behave yourself. I don't get <clears throat> Go on. No is the answer. Right. So that side's a bit just out of my finger. There you go. Right. Problem with doing this, there's not really enough room for me. And this in here, and then even less room for you. Anybody else who does edge trimming will appreciate that this can be a royal pain in the bum. Right, let's have a bit, bit of that on there. In there. You gotta go up in there. Use all the punt, panting, puffing. Get in there. Right. Okay. There he goes. Okay. That wasn't terrible, I've had it worse. That's in there. It'll all come off later on with the steam cleaner. Okay, now then, 
that one. All right, okay. You need to be longer. Get in there. Okay, that is basically the machine is mounted on. Um, these two little pins here, very important because what will happen is when I set the height on here, these pins will lock in locating holes in the outer sleeve here through there and basically what that means it means I can drop the uh, arms on the machine lock them off so I can't accidentally lift them and bend stuff like someone else has done in the past not me um, and basically the weight of the machine then is held on with the top link the arms hold it up but these also hold it up too so the weight is kind of distributed evenly but I think most of the weight ends up on this fella here okay right we're getting there right controls put those on in a minute then go back over there I'll put that away shorten that I need a tool for that and then we're kind of almost there Come to daddy. Yes, I could put a screwdriver in there. I could. That means having to go and fetch it. And I happen to have this hand. Okay, so he's on there now. Um, I'll finish setting this up and leveling up outside because until he's actually sat on his pins, depending on which pin I go with, it's usually a higher one, um, I don't actually know where the level is. So, all right, we'll put that in there next. I wonder where that gone. That's off your trailer. Come on, back up. There you go. Sounds like the tree team are back. That's it. My little block of wood just firms it all up. Right, I'll wait for them to get out of the way. We'll take this outside and grease him up, shall we?
that's it. He's locked on the now. I need to shorten the top link so I can pull that upright. Plug that in. So I've got lights. Take that out. Now the machine's on, I need to turn my uh, lift right to zero and then this speed also right down to the bottom and then lock it. So basically I can press these buttons as much as I want now, nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to bend anything. Alright, done. No, you don't do that. Yeah. Evil, naughty person. Yeah, Is that the one that was opened? No. Mm. Don't film it. Someone say, we're doing that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I invite that. Okay. I invite people to say you're doing it wrong. That's no, it's the case of I'm not doing it wrong. I'm doing it how I want to do it. Just because it's not how you want to do it doesn't mean it's wrong. Oh, yeah? mm. But it um you can't blow it off. You can't yeah. get it off the slabs. So why would you why would you wet it? Because on certain on limestone it blooms. Okay. You end up with like oil stains around the slabs, but on this stuff it's that bloody hard it's not. Alright, okay. Okay. Right, I'll go put kettle on. Oh.